to you about is, is a session that I call how to get anything you've ever wanted. Sounds pretty cool. Well, I'm going to start it out with a bang. And when I say start out with a bang, I'm going to start out with some like, wow type moments to me. And hopefully they are to you. Things that I wrote down back in 2005. That's a long time ago. And I was sitting down with a mentor that now has made over $50 million. I know. And he sits down with me and he said, Rob, let me teach you how to get anything you've ever wanted. And I'm like, okay, this sounds like crazy, right? I'm thinking in my mind, is this one of those things where you just think it and it just happens? And he's like, no, 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 no. He said, sit down with me. So I'm going to teach you the whole process to do it. He's like, that's the easy part. The hard part is actually following through the process. So I'm going to teach you that process and what I went through. So these are the things I wrote down. I've actually have them right here on my other screen on my computer. So this is what I wrote down. I said, have a big house over 5,000 square feet. I wanted to have a tennis court, swimming pool, and huge entertainment room. I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to spend time with my kids, to, and I wanted to teach them to be leaders, not followers. I wanted to be self-employed. I wanted to be able to retire at age 35 if I wanted to. Now, remember, this is in my mid-early 20s that I wrote this. Now, let's fast forward a little bit here. Big house over 5,000 square feet. My house, and again, none of this stuff, possessions don't define me. Uh, for me, my favorite mantra or quote of all time is die with memories, not with dreams. Uh, my purpose of wanting a big house, not that I need to justify it, I just want you guys to know me, was I wanted to have the place that all the kids came. All my kids and their friends came. I got two girls, right? I got to keep an eye on them. My house is 6,200 square feet. When I say things right here that I'm reading, a tennis court. Well, we live a mile away from a tennis club. A swimming pool. Our swimming pool just got finished a month ago. A huge entertainment room. We have an arcade game that has, I don't know, 2,000 plus games. An air hockey. A ping pong table. Right? All of these fun things. Then we have a full-blown theater room that has six theater seats, recliners, and it has six uh, of those huge love sack beanbags. Why? How cool is it? Because every single day, all the kids bring their friends over. During the summer, it's chaos. I'm in my office trying to work, but I smile and get mad, smile and get mad. All at the same time as we go. I said, um, be able to travel the world. Now, that seems crazy because right before COVID hit, I had spoken in 18 countries in a matter of three or four years. But when I wrote this down, I had only been outside of the country once in the previous five or six years. So again, what now seems normal seemed absolutely impossible then. I said, be able to retire at age 35 if I want to. Now, what does that mean? Retirement doesn't mean that you don't work. It means you don't have to work. And at age 35, now I'm 41, but at age 35, I reached that awesome, incredible lifestyle at that point. So that was the outcome. The question though is, is what was the process? And so I'm going to teach you now a little bit of what this process was. I've got all these incredible notes. So many of you know, I do several masterminds a year. I do two to three, four people that make six and seven and eight figures. And then I do about three for anyone. So some are top leaders that come, some are people that had just started in network marketing. And so this is my awesome little fun training manual here where we go through that goal setting session. So there's in this training manual here, I think there's 70 pages. So I'm going to go through for all of you this process and how to get anything you ever wanted. So the first thing is I want you to ask yourself are some empowering questions. Do I really want to achieve my goal? Now, that may seem common sense, but if you really want to go through this process and you say you want it, the question is, is show me. Like, show yourself by writing these things down and actually going through this process. And you can watch and rewatch this training. The next thing is, is do I have enough strength to achieve my goal? Because, you know, the bigger your goal is, the more tests you're going to have. Am I willing to pay the price? Because, again, Many of us have these goals, but few of us are willing to pay the price. These are things that you got to start out with. Another question 
Do I accept responsibility for my own growth? Successful people take 100% responsibility. They don't blame the back office. Products were back ordered. Um, you know, they don't blame uh, shipping's delayed. They don't blame comp plans messed up right now, right? You got to work with what you have. Every single company has incredible strengths and incredible weaknesses. Now, moving on, we're going to get into the nitty gritty. Now, this was something that I think both Michelle and Tyronica said. I know at least one of them did. But they said that you got to know what you want. So this is one of the most empowering questions as we go through probably eight steps here, this eight-step formula to get anything you ever wanted. So the first question is, is what do you want? Like, What do you really want? And be specific because if you say, well, I want time freedom, why? Like, what do you really want? Like, what do you want about the time freedom? Get as crystal clear as you possibly can because most people say, well, I just want to quit my job. It's not enough. What do you deep down? What's going to make you happy? Deep down, what is your perfect day going to look like? And reverse engineer, what's your perfect week, perfect month, perfect year going to look like? For me, I know what that perfect day, perfect week, perfect month. So let me give an example. I knew this. This is what I wanted. My week consists of I start out in the morning, I work out, right? Do my personal development. And then I typically start working about 9 a.m. And I go, I go typically until about 2 p.m. most days. And then some days I'll go a couple hours later. Uh, come Friday, I'm always done usually by 1 p.m. And then after that, on Saturday, I do maximum one hour of work. I do nothing on Sunday. So there's close to my perfect week there. Perfect year is die with memories, not with dreams. My purpose was one of the ways I measure my success is how many family vacations that I do. So I do at least seven to eight family vacations every year. And that helps me to invest in the extremes. I plan those throughout the year. And then I plan where once Thanksgiving hits, I really tailor down my hours where I recharge. I make sure that I go do a, an assessment of how the year went for me. And I plan my next year. And I do that for about five, six weeks. And I only work about 15 hours a week. It's not much at all. So for example, today, I'm doing this training right now. Before doing this training, I worked a total of 30 minutes today. That's it. 30 minutes. Okay. Now it took a lot of insane amount of work before that to get to this, but you got to know what you want. Uh, it's part, part of what I want, like how, and again, don't feel bad if you don't go this deep yet, but these are things to help give you some perspective. I created a goal with my wife that when our kids turn 12 and 16, we're going to take them on a trip. So when they turn 12, they go with the opposite gender parent to a local trip, three, four days. And then when they turn 16, anywhere, anywhere, I said, anywhere they want in the world. I took my 16 year old son to Dubai last year at this exact time. I was in Dubai with my son for almost two weeks. It was crazy. Honestly, one of the biggest differences in our relationship, we had a good relationship. And after that, insane, like biggest difference. It was the time that was spent, the memories that were created, die with memories, not with dreams. Uh, you want me to go even deeper? Let's go a little deeper. My oldest is 16 right now. My youngest is seven. We created this goal, I don't know, I'd have to look back, my wife and I, maybe it was 14, 15 years ago that we said someday we want to be able to take all of our kids and grandkids, right? So we were really young on an all expense paid trip every year. Now I got four kids. Let's say they got their spouse or partner, right? And then they have a couple kids. That's pretty expensive. At that time, I was broke as a joke. But again, I had crystal clear what exactly I wanted my perfect day, week, month, year to look like. You got to get clear. And I don't feel guilty if it's not there yet. I'm just trying to help give you the process. Because your why needs to be stronger than your mood swings. And you need to first know what it is you want. And then the second one goes in, as you can imagine, exactly what I just mentioned is the why. So now you, you got to write these things down, like and get as clear and as specific as you can. Why do you want it? Why do you want it? The why becomes the most important step of them all. Why do you want time freedom? Well, because I want to spend more time, you know, with my family. Why? Because it's die with memories, not with dreams. Why? Because relationships are the most important thing. It brings me the most amount of happiness, right? Why, 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 why? The next one, who has done it? So step three, who has done it? 
you want to find someone who's done it. You're going to have virtual type mentors that maybe you never meet, books you listen to. You're going to have other type of personal type coaches, right? I know I personally coach many of you. Uh, maybe you got another coach. Uh, you Maybe you've got somebody inside of your team, an upline leader, but you got to know who has done it because they can pave the way. They can show you climbing the Mount Everest of success, the Mount Everest of network marketing. They say, ooh, stop there. There's a storm. Or we got to go a little faster here before the storm comes. Or we got to rest here. Or this is a dangerous spot. So who has done it? For, step four, how did your mentor do it? How have others been successful in your company, in the profession, in general? So again, get really deliberate. Like, how did they do it? And Michelle talked about the five income producing activities. She said, just go ask, go ask some of your top leaders that, you know, the most successful people, you know, what are the five most important things that they do every day? How do they spend their time? How much time do they spend on each one of those things? After that, we got step number five. What are the obstacles? So write them down. What are your obstacles? I don't feel like I have any credibility. I don't have any experience. I've got the fear of judgment. I'm too scared. I just don't think I have the right personality. I'm not good with words. Whatever they are, write them down. I feel like my company's saturated in this area. I don't feel like my comp plan fits me. It doesn't matter what they are. Write down every single obstacle you can possibly think of. Now we move on to, what are we, step one, two, three, four, five, step six, solutions. Now you're going to write down all the solutions to those obstacles. 90% of your time is focused on the solutions, 10% of the time on the obstacles. 90% of the solutions, 10% of the time on the obstacles. Your brain can't focus on problems and solutions at the same time. You got to train, retrain, train, retrain your brain to work for you rather than against you. And when you start doing that, it's magic. You start figuring out. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but let me give you an example. I live here in Utah, and now I'm not part of any company. As you know, I'm a coach. I'm generic. But when I was building in the, in the trenches, right, when I first started, I was part of an older company. Been around over 30 years. This company is a multi-billion dollar company, and, and they're here in Utah. So you got to think everybody's heard of them. And everybody's like, Utah's the hardest place to build. Because there's a million network marketing companies and everyone's been approached five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. These were my limiting beliefs. These were my objections. And then I thought, you know what? There's got to be an advantage. So I started looking for the evidence that it was going to help me to have success. And a couple of things I found. I said, you know what? Well, yeah, it is maybe saturated here. But guess what? There's also more people that have had success, more leaders. So I'm going to draw on that. People know it's possible. Uh, my headquarters is right here. So I'm just going to use that as my, my secret sauce advantage and take people to headquarters. You've got strengths and weaknesses and everything. What are you going to focus on? So I started focusing on all of those specific strengths. I was focusing on skincare as a 28 year old guy. That's a huge, huge right red flag for many. But I thought, you know what? What's the strength? Strength is if I can do it, anyone can do it. If a 28 year old guy can go and focus and do skincare and crush it, then anyone can do it. Do you see how I focus on all the solutions? I became the number one recruiter out of a million distributors. And the vast majority.